Uh, I'm not aware about that. Uh, you're not aware? Raila Odinga. Are you aware of, this, uh, of the uh, insinuation that uh, your party leader could have bolted out of NASA? No, no, and no. And no, appears no. to be heading no, no, towards... No. I've not seen uh, anywhere. And first of all, when you are here, you must always uh, declare your stand in the Muli. Because as far as uh, the matter of NASA is concerned... Are you questioning concerned, my stand? Absolutely. Because I didn't see I'm it talking, in the, I'm I didn't see it in the papers. No, I'm give me the headlines, headlines I see. I will give you as a copy of yesterday's newspaper. As far as I'm concerned, you got the register of political parties. NASA is composed of Ford Kenya, ODM, Wiper, and ANC. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to meeting the principles, Raila Molo Dinga, Kalonzo Musioka, Musalia Mudavadi, Moses Wetangula, they are part and parcel. I was here with uh, your deputy party leader, uh, Richard Onyonka, and we were discussing uh, that issue yesterday. It is part of the headlines. Mm -hmm. So I was simply asking for your clarification. So what did Onyonka say? Uh, he, he, he denied it as well, but it was part of the uh, yeah. headlines yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. But the fact that the meetings have been held with the exclusion of Moses I'm Wetangula. not aware of any meeting. I'm not aware of any meeting. And by the way, I'm part and parcel of uh, that leadership. Okay. Yeah, so really... Challenge me and tell me where was the venue? Who convened that meeting? So as far as I'm concerned, we've not had any meeting. But we're going to have meetings in future. Okay. Yeah. Professor Jacqueline Rodwell, and as far as NASA's position is concerned, uh, the strength mm -hmm. of that coalition as we speak right now, mm -hmm. uh, a lot happened after the handshake. Yes, mm -hmm. it might have rattled the Jubilee to some extent, but NASA was totally obliterated. Mm -hmm. Yes? Well, in a way, uh, I would say that um, that's not really true. You know, NASA is... Um, by way of its organization and, and, and uh, coming together, political parties that had a common purpose. As we were going to the elections, and you can see there was a very clear arrangement. And uh, they, to that extent, I do believe that NASA is still really up and, 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 and running. We need to also look at the manner in which the handshake has affected Jubilee. There's a sense that you then also need to say, when we talk about this handshake, we need to clearly distinguish between what is seen to be an organizing towards an election and an arrangement that then seeks to provide leadership in the time in between. And I wanted, uh, Fred, to get back to the conversation that we heard as we were talking about uh, what is happening in Jubilee. And further reiterate that uh, it is extremely unfortunate that uh, there seems to be, within the way we are organizing in politics, a perpetuation of uh, state capture. You know, that you seem to have a situation where President Uhuru almost looks like he's being blackmailed. Eh? If you think about the manner in which, uh, when we are looking at those who are being appointed, and then you see Honorable you know, Kajuju, then you say, now this is uh, aligned to the, the, the DP. I think um, that is something that we need to as Kenyans mm -hmm. be aware and alert to because if you're going to have a situation where the executive leader the president of the country who really is the one that can make administrative duties and and in dealing with issues that are systemic like corruption in coming up with a way that would now call for Kenyans to get uh, back their confidence if it looks like he still has to look the other way and cannot really be the one making the decisions is worrying. Mm -hmm. And so, as uh, I wind up, I really want to just say that uh, it is extremely important that as we in Kenya look at what is going on right now, mm -hmm. we need to say that um, we really must address issues of corruption yes. and we need to look at issues of because lifestyle audit. Yes. And I think I, I would, I'd like us to say that before we focus so much on 2022 elections, can we look back at TGRC report? Can we look at issues of land that are around the country? Report. Can we look at the, can we look at what is really yeah, ailing this country? But the question country? is, yes. the question is now who's pushing for this? Because ideally uh, there needs to be an opposition mm -hmm. uh, formation mm -hmm. capable of pushing for this. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm asking about NASA. But and it appears you're not interested in talking about is, NASA. We want to is. talk about the Jubilee now. No, the, the fact that NASA has been totally weakened, and this, my director has been uh, kind enough to get me that story from yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can just put it uh, on the screen. Uh, that headline was on one of the pages, yes. Mm -hmm. Raila rallies allies in plans to revive NASA. If you read that story, it talks about him holding meetings with two of the leaders, mm -hmm. w w with the exception of one, Moses mm -hmm. Watangula. And that story is there on the dailies yesterday. Mm -hmm. The fact that NASA is unable mm -hmm. 
to hold together. Mm -hmm. The fact that the principles are not reading from the same script, mm -hmm. it means we have a weakened opposition. Now we've left it to Jubilee and its own wrangles to actually forge the way forward. Yeah. We seem to have forgotten that even NASA has a role to yes. play in all these things. You know, Fred, what I would tell you is I don't agree that NASA is not performing its role. Because you see, w one of the things we need to be clear about here is that there is politics and then there is politics. And I think when we are talking here, there is way in which we come up with a perception of the politics and look at the way in which the organizing outside parliament is taking place. And then we need to get back into parliament. I think when you look at parliament, NASA is very effective. You look at uh, our deputy whip is from Fort Kenya. Look at in the National Assembly the manner in which we are engaging uh, the, the, minor, the deputy minority leader on Rebumbui is from Wiper. In parliament, as far as NASA goes, it is intact. And I know that as we looked even at the, the budget proposals, uh, we were able in NASA. I specifically spoke and opposed this uh, reclassification mm -hmm. of, 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 of getting uh, you know, zero rated items to be exempted because now we were trying to see how it is that we would increase the domestic revenue. NASA and the opposition is extremely effective. What we are seeing in Jubilee, and which we are now calling opposition, is really realignment mm -hmm. within Jubilee, where we have those who are pro the status quo, those who want to have this large and mighty leader, who then dishes, you know, as I am, and can give you this, the roads, you know, they can tell you, despite the fact that we already have a very clear framework, uh, those who would like to have a system where you have devolution and where the national government would retain the money, including for areas like health, which is devolved, and then they would decide to give piecemeal to counties, which, quote, favorably are al in alignment. Mm -hmm. NASA is very aligned Senator, and effective. Is Senator, yes. you, do you feel <coughs> in no, parliament the no, presence no, of NASA? Do, no, you, do you feel NASA, that opposition? NASA is dead completely, and uh, for several reasons. One, look at the Senate. You will see there was a coup where the Ford Kenya lost the slot of minority leader. And as a result of that, you now see there's a lot of uh, unhappiness, particularly in the party called Ford Kenya, because they lost that position. And it, it is a prestigious position. You are given an office, you are given a GK vehicle. And therefore, uh, I can tell you as a matter of fact, in the Senate, uh, we only have ODM now operating. Eh? Mm -hmm. Uh, again now, another problem now. With the handshake, they have all joined government. So meaning, what they used to practice, let's say in terms of oversighting, they are no longer doing that. Uh, again also, NASA, apart from even the issues concerning oversight, I see another major weakness from where I see it, eh? uh, particularly in the National Assembly. In the Senate, it's okay because I have seen several mm -hmm. members of parliament. Uh, sorry, I've seen several senators bringing motions, bringing uh, proposed bills. But in the National Assembly, uh, this term so far, I have not seen a legislative proposal coming from uh, from NASA, from NASA. Uh, or, or, or even compare that even uh, last parliament. When you look, well, you could see once in a blue moon legislative proposals from them. But in terms of a legislative proposal that is revolutionary, that captures the mood of the country, rarely would you see uh, such things coming from NASA. And it appears that culture you know. it, it has now percolated to this term. I'll give you a good example of something, a very brilliant idea that was brought by a Jubilee Member of Parliament. This one of rating, where we capped bank mm -hmm. interest rates. Uh, compare that with NASA. Uh, what about this term? So far, uh, we have not seen, uh, let's say, for instance, a notice to censure a CS coming from them. In Jubilee, uh, there has been an attempt mm -hmm. along that line. So you see members of Jubilee are more proactive. Uh, they are now uh, taking up issues. Yes. They are attending the National Assembly. They are attending committee meetings. They are asking hard questions. But for them... They have kept quiet. They seem anyway. to be watching from the sidelines. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> yes, well, yeah, you, you know, I don't want uh, Senator to mislead uh, the public. We were with him in the last parliament, in the National Assembly. When it came to matters of legislative proposals, I was on the forefront as he follows. And the, some of the legislative proposals that I brought, 
they even they were even ascended by his excellency the president they are now laws part of our laws in this country currently as we speak i have about uh, four bills some i have gone through first reading we're going to do the second reading and i'm from the the opposition side and these are serious legislative proposals his own bill on uh, world development fund we worked it together in fact i was to introduce it to the national assembly but he had picked it up in the Senate. And we've been discussing, when is this bill going to go through the Senate so that it comes the National Assembly where I'm going to be the champion. I don't want to go into the, descript <laughs> the descriptive and prescriptive, if I use the words of Honorable Kajuang, Senator Kajuang. I support it and we've been discussing with him. But we don't know where that bill has gone to. When it comes to the National Assembly, I'm going to be the champion because we want this world development to go to the wards. Mm -hmm. I support that. When it comes to the issue of, uh, of uh, the, now the budgets, when the CS Rotich came in to highlight on, uh, on the budget proposals, looking specifically on the four agenda of the president, it's not just we should come up because we're opposition, to oppose it. It's a good agenda, and we've made it clearly that we are going to support. But we are going to oppose some of his proposals when it comes to the finance bill. For instance, when you provide, uh, uh, you give a taxation on uh, transfer of money, and I'm mm. happy I want to salute uh, the Kenya Bankers Association where they've gone to court. The issue of saying 0.05% levy on, uh, on any transfer of 500,000 above. It is going to make the cost of living to go higher. When you import a car or whatever goods, uh, you're going to pay higher. Like that one, we're going to oppose it. So when it comes to the NASA side, we might not have the majority of numbers, but we have majority of brains. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you see us working, when it comes to matters of, uh, we don't need to be rhetoric. The other day, the, the, what we saw, we've seen the Jubilee people coming up with a motion to censure the, 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 the CS, uh, Madam, Madam Cecil Kariuki. Mm -hmm. Cecil Kariuki. We, we, in the side of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of NASA, we had also proposed that. But when you go to the speaker and you find that uh, already another motion has been filed by a member, yours, it is first in, first out. You stop. When Matiangi was misbehaving, and I told him the other day, you know, Article 125 of the Constitution is clear that the Parliament or a Committee of Parliament can summon anybody anywhere, and it has powers of the High Court. Mm -hmm. And one of the one of the grounds of uh, impeaching uh, CS is like a cross violation of the Constitution. And I told him I had drafted one when he refused to appear before the the committee, and I saw in 411 where he said he'll not appear. But when I went to to Parliament and I saw him there. He has already, he has honored and he has come. I dropped it. So as far as NASA we are concerned, we are on top of it. We have so many legislative proposals. I'm aware of one that... You uh, don't feel like the handshake probably slowed you down, that probably if that handshake had not happened, the handshake, you would have been more proud. The handshake, we are supporting the Jubilee government when it comes up with proposals which are for the public good. But where there is a misbehavior that is not for public good, for example, the finance bill, those things that uh, the CS has come up that has proposed measures that will affect the common manaingi, like the taxation when it comes to transfer of the mm -hmm. 500,000 and above, we are there, we are the Kenya Bankers Association. When it comes to the Judy Jomo's bill, I was working with Judy Jomo on this bill. Where you can go look at the handset, that interest capping. That, that was in the last parliament. Yeah, but he well, mentioned well, it. So I'm responding, life, I'm life, responding to life, what he said. Life after the handshake. I'm responding what he said. Of course, even after the handshake, we saw the CS Rotich came to the floor of the house and said he's going to propose amendments on the interest capping. CS Rotich, the constitution is very clear that the legislative authority is with parliament. CS Rotich has no powers to amend that interest capping. And we're going to oppose it. We are the ones who decide. So the issue here is it was in the last parliament, but it's already here. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when CS Rotich came to the floor of the house, when he was putting the highlights and the measures of raising revenue, he brought it up that the interest capping. You know, we can't allow banks to blackmail this country that uh, because the interest rates are low, they are not giving loans to the bankers, I mean to the business people. No, there must be a regulation and central bank, because they're regulator, they must look for these banks which are, no, which are not giving loans to the people so that they can be punished. We are going to oppose that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Professor, uh, the, the perception that uh, NASA legislators have sort of slowed down, taken a bad seat, and probably just enjoy seeing the wrangling within Jubilee from a distance. Uh, do you agree with that? No, I don't. I think one of the things that we need to say is that um, the... Uh, 
handshake handshake is uh, being used by those quote unquote who do not want us to disturb the status quo mm -hmm. to weaken not only institutions but also to try and uh, make nasa you know refocus and get people to look at nasa and then you know demonize if you like uh, the, the the nasa legislators i think i'd like to indicate as i uh, you know point out you know that uh, if we look at what has happened in the National Assembly, even currently we had uh, Honorable Anthony raise uh, the matter with the uh, budget and uh, point out that uh, the provision of 0.3% is statutory and should be given to political parties. That had not been done. Not only did we raise this on the floor, which he did, but he proceeded even to prepare an amendment. and. Um, it didn't really get to be discussed because of timelines, but you could see there is a very clear effort in which uh, NASA uh, uh, members uh, of parliament are, are, are uh, undertaking their role. Yeah. And when we look at uh, what has happened in the, in the time that we've been in parliament, we can see that NASA leg uh, legislators have come up with the proposals that we get this uh, sports academy, which has been in place and which uh, more or less had just, uh, in a way, a speculative projection that between now and 20, uh, 2020, we are only going to do a uh, talent search. Uh, they have already come up with a motion that is saying we do need to have uh, sports academies in each of the constituencies. School primary feeding program, which is being currently run, but in ways that is not equitable, equitable based on the way that before, a lot of goodies seem to be used in terms of reward instead of being used for inclusivity. So I really do not see how it is that we can say that NASA legislators are have taking a back seat. I think what we need to recognize is that NASA legislators, being one of them in parliament, have got to be strategic in terms of how it is that you not only organize and engage, but as uh, Honorable Chris indicated, where it is that you want to put your weight. And if you look what it is that we are now focused on, and which the president did even confirm when he came to the, the House, we would like to address issues such as corruption, we would like to be those that come up with legislation and look at manners in which this enables everybody to act, and we would like to take that very active role of ensuring that information that is already available that would be used to ensure that we make the changes that are required are handled. And so I believe um, uh, Fred, that when we look at what it is that is happening in Parliament, NASA is extremely active and despite uh, what could be uh, happening out, if we look at meetings of the principals, when we look at Parliament, we would see that this is intact. Okay. Probably uh, they're still working, but uh, not as loud as they no, were. No, Fred, mm. with due respect, Fred, I want you to read a book uh, by Professor Michael Potter from mm. Harvard Business on competitive advantage. There's time to strike and it's time to watch. So you admit it, it is a change in strategy. It's a strategy. Mm -hmm. so, you know, we are happy when we see people now, uh, instead of rubber stamping, they are doing the oversight role properly. And this is the time you should salute NASA. If it were not NASA, people will be smi smiling all the way. So even the government, uh, now when they bring legislation's proposal on the floor of the house, it must be a proposal that will add value for the common good of the common manager. Okay. And if the PGs fail like this, it shows uh, there's really oversight. There's really that thinking. It's not just rubber stamping for the sake of it. Okay. So you should salute NASA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from where I sit, I think uh, uh, the productivity of a member of parliament ought to be measured against uh, the, uh, the, the roles which have been created, mm -hmm. which, which has been given to a member of parliament by the constitution. Because the constitution is quite clear, it says number one, oversight, number two, representation, number three, legislation. So meaning, uh, it's very easy to measure the output of individual members of parliament, mm. uh, the party, or even the coalition. Mm -hmm. So to me, I think the, the answer to your question should be, you just go look at the answer, mm. you ask yourself, yeah. this year, yeah. How many members of parliament have brought uh, legislative proposals? Mm -hmm. uh, Not just you ideas. You say, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. You say, for instance, mm -hmm. I can see Jubilee party members, they have brought this number. Mm -hmm. uh, you say NASA have brought this number. What about mm -hmm. petitions? They have yeah. brought these ones. Mm -hmm. That will be able to, to say with some objectivity, mm -hmm. this is a lazy member of parliament, mm -hmm. this is a hard-working mm -hmm. member of parliament. Mm 